popping bottles in the club. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show us Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. This is my second attempt at good audio. I'm using a lav that's connected to my phone. It was real cheap off Amazon. I have no idea if it works. Hopefully it works. It sounds very echoey right now in real life, but you know, let me know in the comments or I, I will probably already know before this video even goes up because I'll have to watch it in editing. Oh, we got a kitchen island that came in with no countertop. Didn't come with the countertop. It is a separate shipment that is not here yet. So that's great. I put a cut cutting board on it though, and uh, I just don't think it would be Tasty Tuesday if everything worked out smoothly. So welcome, here we are. Hope you're very comfortable. Not too comfortable, cause that's how we settle in life. Hey, remember when you sent me a bunch of requests to do something with spaghetti squash? You, remember that when you did that? And then I couldn't find spaghetti squash anywhere. Well, I found it, so that's fun. Maybe, maybe it's not fun. I don't know, I've never used spaghetti squash before. I don't think I've even tried spaghetti squash. I've seen people make dishes with spaghetti squash and it looks weird, like an amazing way. It looks like spaghetti, but I hear it doesn't taste like spaghetti. So I didn't want to do a does it work spaghetti out of squash dish because it doesn't work. And I don't want to go into it knowing that it will fail. So I found this recipe for pad thai made out of spaghetti squash. And I thought, hey, last week we made a Vietnamese dish. This week, why don't we go to Thailand? Make a Thai dish, but not really, like never authentically. This is made out of spaghetti squash instead of Thai noodles. I'm rambling now. You know what you signed up for. Or maybe you don't. And if that's the case, please subscribe, turn on the notifications, and let's make this dish. Step one, we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe if I talk quieter, it won't be as echoey. 400, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We did it. Can you hear me if I talk like this? Next, we're gonna take a spaghetti squash and we're going to chop it in half lengthwise. Good thing I bought two because the first one, I chopped it in half the other way, the wrong way. <laughs> Again, if there's two ways to do something, I will choose the wrong way. We're gonna scrape out the seeds, which I did already. This shit is weird because it smells like a pumpkin and the seeds look exactly like a pumpkin. Like, look at this. The seeds look exactly like pumpkin seed. This part's all garbage. We're gonna throw it away. Next, we're gonna take a glass pan and we're gonna put our how about that? Glass pan. We're gonna take our spaghetti squash and we're gonna put it face down. It didn't say to grease this pan at all. Should I be worried? Should I grease it? These are questions that I just wish I knew. Just a woman without a counter trying to make things happen. So I don't know what'll help. Hold on. Oh my God. I love this. I poured this earlier and then I was like, no, I'm too busy. Now I'm not busy because we're all here hanging out. Me and all of my friends. That's you. Cheers. We have to wait for this thing to heat up anyway. Well, this thing's getting lit. We can get lit as well. And that's just, this is the type of day we're having. All right. See you in a little bit with this, when this thing's done, whenever you want, whenever you're ready. Seriously, take your time. We're not waiting. Our oven is ready and so are we. We're so ready. I feel like I can't not shout and it's just so echoey in here. Please let me know if the sound is good. I just want to do a good job. Oven. Oven. 400 degrees for 30 minutes. Oh, this is my first time using this oven. Oh, no, it's not. I lied. I so, I'm so sorry. I just lied to you just straight to your face. 30 minutes. Okay. Just 30 minutes. I'm sorry. Hopefully it's not like last week where I did like sexy ASMR and there was no good audio because my Zoom was not recording the entire time. Hopefully this week you hear some. If not, iPad tried. <laughs> okay, we gotta make the sauce. So grab yourself a small bowl or like a, you know, are you small? You're big compared to regular bowls, but small for a mixing bowl. To make this sauce, we're just gonna throw all these ingredients into this bowl. You ready? You ready to be real camera? What's fun is that I'm just alone here, but it feels like I'm not alone because you're here and all my friends are here. So I just talk to myself, but it doesn't feel lonely. I'm not lonely, dad. One tablespoon rice wine vinegar. It says brown rice wine vinegar, but I don't have brown wine rice vinegar. What? I have regular rice vinegar. There's no wine in this. <laughs> Why did it say rice wine? I don't know. Coming up real hard. One tablespoon rice vinegar. Three tablespoons of low sodium tamari. I don't know why they're so specific about it being low sodium, but I just happen to have reduced sodium. So I guess I'm in the club. Popping bottles in the club. A tamari. Oh, by the way, tamari is just a soy sauce that's gluten-free because we hate gluten. We're in LA. We hate carbs. That's why we're making pad thai out of squash. But if you don't have tamari, you can use soy sauce. So just, that was my point. That was my point. 
whole point. Two tablespoons of sambal oilek. I don't know how to pronounce it. This shit's been in my cupboard for a long time, but uh, I didn't know it was called that. And I bought another one, cause I was like, I don't have that. Also, when I went to Bali, this was part of the gado gado recipe, and I thought I couldn't find it anywhere, but turns out I had it in my cupboard the entire time. So maybe we'll make gado gado next time. I don't know, let's travel around the world making exotic dishes, but not authentically. Two tablespoons of sambal olek. A sambal olek you a lot. <laughs> Are you single? It's weird, I flirt with food. Two garlic cloves, minced. Motherfucker, I'm so sorry, why did I, I'm so sorry. You don't fuck moms, unless you fuck moms because maybe you're a dad or another mom that is LGBT, BT, it's Q. I don't know, how do I make this politically correct? I'm sorry, in general. Two minced garlic cloves, we're doing this. One tablespoon maple syrup and one teaspoon sesame oil. Yeah. We're having too much fun, like too much fun. Anyway, that's all of the ingredients that belong in this sauce. Now we're gonna take our whisk and we're gonna whisk it. I really hope my shirt hasn't been rubbing against this audio the entire time. That would be truly devastating for me. I think that's good. All right, what's next? Oh, we're making another sauce. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna have to use another bowl. That's cool. It's not, it's fine. Cause we're gonna use a medium sized bowl. I only have one small bowl, but I'm gonna... Jesus. All right, well, that was a vase I really liked and cared for, and it shouldn't have been there. Noted. Noted for future vases. R.I.P. It was a good vase. I held many a pee in me. Medium sized bowl. We're gonna make another sauce. So this was our pad thai sauce. And this is gonna be our spicy peanut tofu sauce. Big difference, don't confuse them. To this bowl we're gonna add one tablespoon of rice vinegar. This is starting out exactly like this, the other sauce, but it's not, it's different. So shut up, how about that? Three tablespoons low sodium tamari. You know what this is. I already told you. Two teaspoons sambal olek. This is exactly the same. Oh my god. I'm crazy. Okay, in case you thought this was the same sauce, here's where it gets different. Are you ready for this? I don't know if you're ready. Are you ready? Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're ready. Okay, you're ready. Three tablespoons of crunchy pita butter, which I would never buy as a regular person. I like it to be smooth and creamy. Do you know what I'm saying? That was even sexual. Mmm, that's good. Trader Joe's, with the come up. Oh my gosh. One tablespoon maple syrup. Maple syrup and peanut butter, one of my favorite flavor combinations. <laughs> Let me tell you, don't look at me. Please stop looking at me. Do that's bomb. You ever do that on waffles, put peanut butter and maple syrup? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Too cool. We were on the right track before. Two tablespoons of water. And one teaspoon of that good old sesame oil that we never get to use, but we're using today, baby. How are you feeling? You feel used? It's not sexual. Stop. And now we're gonna whisk it. Did you guess? Well, you should have. You should have guessed. This is all a trivia show. The chunky peanut butter doesn't really like to be whisked, but you know what? It's my fucking kitchen. Listen to me, bitch. Just kidding. I'm so sorry. You're not a bitch. You're not a bitch. Just get whisked, please. See, it feels good, right? Are you hearing all of this? Are you hearing all of it? Like, if you're hearing this during sex, like, you have a problem. Like you're not doing it right. Next, this is extra firm tofu that has been diced by me. I diced it, so. Thank you, thanks. We're gonna dub it in this bowl and then we're gonna lightly stir until it's coated with our sauce that we just made. These were so cool. Oh, oh my gosh, that looks so good. It's so sexy. It's not sexual, it's just sexy. Great, we did it. All right, we got about seven minutes left on our timer. I will see you in seven minutes. I mean, not in your time, in my time. I'll see you in like half a second, watch. Hi, welcome back. It's been 30 minutes and I'm so excited. Also, I moved this audio to the outside of my shirt because we all know it's there. Who are we kidding? So hopefully the audio is better. I was worried that it was wrestling against my shirt before and maybe it has been and maybe you've been listening to it the whole time. Everything's trial and error. What do you want from me? I'm just a lady by herself in a kitchen. Anyway, our spaghetti squash should be done. It's been 30 minutes in the oven and I'm so excited. Wait, that sounded fake. Can I take it back? I'm so actually excited. How about that? Fight me. Are you done? You don't eat, you look the same. You look exactly the same, like you haven't aged at all. I don't know if it's a compliment or not with squash. Like for me, it'd be a compliment, but. The recipe says to fork the insides until it makes noodles. Are you ready to have your insides forked? <laughs> How is that not sexual? Are you too hot for me to handle? So maybe we use tongs, you know? Ooh, it's kind of squishy. This is really hot. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hey, you need to calm yourself. Here's the spaghetti squash, as it is. Now, we're gonna take a fork, and I'm gonna 
fork the insides. Oh, wow, it does look like spaghetti. Wow, look at that. Oh, ow, <laughs> ow, but, but look, but ow. You really don't have to fork that hard to get nudes. Spaghetti squash. This is like legit looking like noodles. I'm so impressed. How? <laughs> this is a real food? You live up to the name so well. What does it taste like? I'm so nervous. Yeah, not like spaghetti at all. Not at all. Oh, no, guys. This looks great, but will it taste great by the end? I really hope so. The reviews say so, so there's that. I always, before doing a Tasty Tuesday recipe, read the reviews. That's like my secret to why I have so many successful Tasty Tuesdays, I think. This is the whole thing. It just continues to fork into noodles. That's insane. Sorry, that was like way overreacted. That's insane, whoa. Okay, now I'm just gonna do the other one by myself and I'll meet you back after it's done. Hey, so while you were gone, I had another casualty. Yep, I'm letting things go that don't want to be here anymore. Anyway, now our squash is noodles and we're going to set those noodles aside. Don't even need you right now. Get out of our face. We're going to take a medium sized saucepan or wok if you have one. We're going to take two tablespoons of olive oil. Do you see it? Okay, great. Two tablespoons and we're going to put it on medium heat in our saucepan slash wok. You know what I need? Plastic wine glasses. That's all I need. To our warmed olive oil, we are gonna add our spicy tofu mix that we made. Wow. Also, I'm pretty sure you could probably, if you are like, I hate tofu, I'm not a vegetarian or whatever. You could probably make chicken or shrimp or whatever. I don't know, I don't know your life. Just stop whining about it. Whatever your mixture is, put it in the pot. We're gonna stir fry this until golden brown. Yeah. Oh yeah, we are. You thought we weren't. You're sorely mistaken. Or maybe you were correct. I don't know. I don't know the future. Is this golden brown or is this just thoroughly coated in peanut sauce? I don't know. We'll never know. Unless you know. Do you know? Whatever the case, I think it's done. I'm gonna call it. We're gonna take our tofu that is totally done, without a doubt. And we're gonna set it aside. Just bye. We don't need you right now. Now in that same saucepan that we just used, we're gonna put two more tablespoons of olive oil. We're not gonna measure it because we don't care. We're gonna take one bell pepper that has been seeded and then sliced lengthwise. And we're gonna put it in there. You guessed it. <laughs> we're gonna saute these for three to five minutes. See you in three to five minutes. Three, two, five, not 35. All right, our bell peppers have been sauteing for three to five minutes. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our pad thai noodles, AKA spaghetti squash. What? How are you noodles? We don't know. Why is nature so weird? And we're gonna add it to our bell peppers. And then we're just gonna let this warm up for another three minutes. Do we stir it? I don't know, I just kind of took initiative there. It's starting to look less like noodles the more we stir it. So I'm just gonna let it be. I'm gonna let it do its thing. All right, it's been three minutes. Actually, it's been four minutes, so who's counting? <laughs> anyway, remember that sauce that we made a long ass time ago? The, like the first sauce that we made? Where did it go? Oh my God. We're gonna add it to our pad thai now, and then we're gonna stir to coat. Lightly stir it to coat. Wow, that just like cooled the party way down. And then we're going to add spicy pita tofu that we made earlier. It kind of, it just looks like mush. It doesn't look like pad thai at all. I really hope this tastes good. Sometimes it works. There's a disclaimer in the intro. Pay attention. I feel like I'm not supposed to continue to let this cook. It doesn't say this doesn't look like pad thai. We're gonna turn this off. Okay, bye, you're done. We're gonna turn this off. We're gonna plate this. We're gonna add some chopped peanuts that we chopped and some scallions that it said to chop into one to two inches, which I've never chopped scallions that large before, but we did it. And then it says to show Shower with lime juice. We're gonna do that. And I hope it's tasty because this, I'm trying my ass off here and I just wanna do a good job. Don't look like pad thai at all. Like not even a little bit, not in the slightest. Also, does not look like the picture at all of the recipe. So maybe we messed up somewhere along the way, but I don't know where. That doesn't mean it's not tasty. Let's see if it's tasty at least. Please, give it a chance. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. Tasty Tuesday, man. Tasty Tuesday, Hello, gang. Nice Let's to go. see Let's you. Let's go. What's up, gang? Spaghetti squash pad thai. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. How is that? What's spaghetti about it? 
hey, take your time. Because you know what a lot of times, Steve really likes a dish and he needs like a second to taste it. And then once the cameras are off, he like really likes it and goes for seconds. Like what happened last week with the pho? I will also say that those of you who wait for my opinion for whatever reason, <laughs> you should understand what I eat all the time. Maybe I'll make one for you. Actually, we've got a lot of requests for you to do a Tasty Tuesday. I'll, I'll do a Tasty Tuesday where I make what I make so that you can then judge how well you treat my opinion. Cause it's like that. This is really bomb. Really, really bomb. Yay. Like, no joke. Whoa, whoa, let's hold on a second. It's tasty. How do I describe what this tastes like? There's peanuts in this obviously. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. it just tastes good. It tastes very good. Yay, yeah. wow. I want to try it. Wow, that is so surprising. Good. Yeah, it's very good. It looks like a, a trash heap. It looks like a what mess. What are you talking about? It looks like good, good color. I like you it. like it? Yeah. I just think it looks so mushy compared to what the picture is. What's, what's this guy think? Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. And I will see you next time. Hopefully with a, a, a freaking counter on that kitchen island. I don't know. Let's not go crazy. What do you want from me? Let's not go crazy. What do you want? Work. I also was semi hoping that this was going to be bad so I could be like pad Thai, more like bad Thai, but oh. it's so good. Oh, that would have been great. I know. What a, what a waste.